some would play. Harmonia is a water-bound land where the gods used to intervene in men's lives, but in this lifetime seem to have forsaken the land to the qualms between the Eris and the Enyo, who seem hell-bent on destroying each other. Since everyone is out for all they can get, the heroes have been banded together to find the three ancient artifacts for a wealthy yet young merchant. The artifacts are rumored to be spread throughout Harmonia, across the two lands belonging to the Eris and Nenyo. It may be hard to find them, as people are moving to the capitals in anticipation of the war games, the only thing that keeps full-scale war from occurring. Welcome to Some Would Play, featuring Rico. I am a half-elf paladin named Pan Halcyon. And Matt. I am a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. Daphne. I am a halfling druid named Gelsira Venfire. And Jenna. I am a clerical elf named Lux Bellator. <laughs> I am your host, your dungeon master, Deborah. Is it time um, for the... Rico, Rico recap. So we woke up in Kosanis, ready to find Hollis. But before we decided to do that, we decided to go do a little shopping. Went to a jeweler's, found out the jeweler is crazy, and it wasn't really <laughs> the jeweler. Uh, went to a haberdasher. Crazy um, and deaf. Yeah. And Lux ordered a hat. She also got some boots. <laughs> And for anybody wondering what the boots were, they were boots of elven kind. She doesn't know what they are in game. They're a wondrous item. And the fact that she got them from this town of thieves is pretty incredible. And I also uh, got stabbed by (laughs) because I was so stealthy. Sorry about that. Can I notice that I got stabbed because I was stealthy? I want to know something. Yeah, you hurt. Okay. I hurt. That's, <laughs> that's my you yeah. know you got stabbed. You well, know you got stabbed. You got, you got She's asking if she can notice why she got stabbed. You got she stabbed. Was so quiet. Uh, yes. Okay. I will allow that. All right. Sorry, Rico. No, it's fine. And then Lux also ordered a pretty leather hat. Uh, <laughs> not sure if that's going to be functional or what her intention is. But on it's that, also but. made out of a uh, holy cloth. And it's going to be leather, and you got ripped off because you told them, I've got so much money. You oh never God, know. I'm so rich. <laughs> you never know. It's going to be. Her, suddenly it gives her a plus I mean, two I just, was con- I just got knocked the fuck out by you, so I just want to have a little head protection right now. Yeah, okay? leather helmet's not going to My help. head is a little sensitive right now. And <clears throat> Gelsira also ordered some boots. You ordered boots, right? I did order boots. You ordered boots. I also traded my nugget of gold in. So we have uh, like a two-day wait in this town of Kosanis for them to get their pretty clothes made. And pretty, 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 pretty. I just want to find Hollis <laughs> and get to Dion at, at the, the Oracle at the temple. Well, we got to head back to a tavern. But we've got to go to the tavern first, yes, because we got to get a bottle of sweet wine that we got to give to Hollis. Because we found out Hollis is a woman. Um, I always thought it was a man. That's what I get for just assuming genders. It's my fault. My apologies. But I, I just thought it was a guy. Maybe they're gender fluid. I can't believe fluid. you assume gender. Gosh. I know, I'm the so worst. Awful. Actually, Hollis may have started out you're as like, a man and like turned worse into a than woman Hitler. during this Yeah, time. I am. I'm pretty did. bad. Hollis was a lot of gender <laughs> switching <laughs> last episode. Yeah, Hollis might be a trans. That's true. But then wouldn't we just refer that to Hollis as their preferred pronoun? That would be a great name <laughs> If we knew their preferred pronoun at the time. Well, that's true. Well, that's Surely why you can us, always Hollis use they. Well, you can always use they. I just hope they're wearing a button that has their... Their the preferred pronouns. pronoun. Yeah. They, so it was a pretty down episode. They're, they're, there wasn't a whole lot of intrigue. There wasn't a whole lot of action. It was mostly shopping to get pretty um, <laughs> and trying to sell some goods that we had acquired over over the past adventures. And it didn't go well. This town is full of people ready to rip off other people, but that's what you get when you but come to... But it's also the nicest town. Yeah, and it's, and it's sunny out, too. Any it's town, town in Eris, everybody's oh, but... trying to rip you off and pretty miserable it's... and... It's pretty Things much of that nature. like the Talbot Street We should visit Enyo at some point. We're, I think we're going to have to. Also, Lux because, did Because um, 
Amoralonia is the capital of Enyo, and it's one of the villages that I saw Where on the. I yeah, I mean, there's got to be at least one of the huh? artifacts in. Uh, a dingy tavern. Oh, I did find a country. dingy yeah, tavern. The there is a shitty. Can't they all be there in? is also a shitty tavern. We found out because I saw it. Oh, I don't go to shitty taverns. Yeah, well, we you're should. Above it. To. We should probably go back to that. What What time is it? Time for you to get a what watch. Time of the day? A sundial. We've it's been, it's. Fucking around with uh, hats Almost and afternoon. It's hitting about lunchtime. <laughs> okay, so well, let's go back to that let's tavern. Let's go back then. to the Do you tavern. Think that um, Shirley's. Oh, wait, that's not Shirley's tavern. But nope. She, but it probably for... is, though. Shirley let's... said to mention her name. Yeah, let's not tavern. forget that, that we can't forget to mention her name. Right. And also, we'll probably go there and it'll be Shirley. And we'll be like, you sent us to you to help us with yeah. wine. Oh, no, it's Shirley's twin, um, Laverne. Also, <laughs> I make a wish and I throw a copper piece in the fountain. It goes tink. <laughs> okay, okay, so we head back to the tavern. Right. Wait, hold on. Is there money in this fountain more than her copper piece? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Because I was about to say, I could re up on some of my they, money right they now. They don't have the concept of <laughs> wishing on a fountain in this yeah, world. Yeah, people would just think I'm crazy for doing that. <laughs> and then, like, six people storm the fountain. Yeah, some street <laughs> urchins. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking copper. They come right out of that bar. All right, guys, I say we go back to the tavern. It's probably about time it's open. All right. Let's go get some spirits. And All right, we go into the tavern. Hello. Okay, so you go back towards the prancing centaur, but to the tavern next to it. It is now open, and there are two people, but sitting at their own tables, having a little small luncheon. Is there a proprietor around? And there is... Is it Shirley? <laughs> Shirley there is, is not Shirley. Interestingly enough... <laughs> Um, behind the bar, and then behind the bar is, you know, lots of spirits um, behind there. But there is a woman who looks very <laughs> much like Shirley, <laughs> but not quite the same. Okay, so I go up to the bar and say, hey, do you, do you know, do you know a lady named Shirley? You look just like her. <laughs> and she goes, oh, yeah, that's my sister. She what? works next door. She was She's so kind. She told us that we should come get. Um, we're going to be seeing Hollis soon, and uh, Shirley mentioned that you guys stock a nice, sweet red wine that Hollis might enjoy. Oh yeah, I got exactly what you need. But give me a second, because we don't have it up here. I gotta go in back and get it. Okay. Of course, of course. Why is everyone going in back? Um, That's what they do. And I'm in a really good mood, and I go up and sit at the bar. I could kind of climb my way up into a bar stool. It's like, hey guys, I'm gonna have a mead while I'm here. I yeah, that's a that's a great idea, that's that Jelly. I'm gonna good. I'm gonna join yeah. you. I'm I think I actually want to take yeah. a bottle of wine to go. Um, actually, a man then approaches you oh, that you hi. didn't quite see at the beginning, but hi, he hi, then comes up. and he says, "What can I do for you?" He said, "A mead. Let me yeah. get you one." Yeah, mead would be great. Yeah, Shirley sent us over here. Do you have an <laughs> ale? Um, no, we don't have any ales here. We just Weird. serve mead. Huh. Just mead. Well, any mead cider? and wine. Well, I'll take, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I, I'd like a mead too, please, okay. if I may. And he brings out a couple of meads. Hashtag mead too. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Relevant. That's not the appropriate time to use the hashtag, but okay. What? He's getting mead also. Mead too. Mead too. Right? Hashtag mead too. Maybe you missed oh the pun. I, I, no, I heard, all I heard was me too, and I was like, what? <laughs> Relevant. Um, no, it was hashtag mead too. It was good. <laughs> Everybody else thought it was Everybody funny. Else Deborah. Got it. I thought I'm it was sorry. brilliant. Yeah, um, uh, that might be the and episode title. He comes title. out and brings what everybody gets. Meet Hashtag me too. Meet. Yeah, that'd Do be you want fantastic. Meet? And he says yes. that will be eight silver pieces. I got this, guys. I, I toss him a gold. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Do Ten I have a meet? Did I get a meet too? <laughs> yeah. Did you? Hashtag. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is uh, so they, nice. No worries. We've been doing well. You know, we got, we got. You know, it's fine. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah, I mean, I'm no longer we've poor. been through a lot of crud, haven't we? That's right. We sure have. Let's enjoy this meat while we wait for Shirley. Double C K. Okay. And the serving lady comes back out with a bottle of wine and says, "Now, Hollis, she'll, she'll really only really talk to you if you bring her the good stuff." So, of course. Um. This is going to be five silver pieces. No. For the bottle? Oh, this is 10 gold pieces. Wow. Well, All right, guys, you want to split it? We split need the it. cost? Yeah. I think uh, we just uh, have to do it. I mean, we just have to eat this. Five. I will hand her 10 gold pieces. Oh. 
You're saving up for armor. How about I throw in five for that? Yeah, I'd throw in two, yeah, three. Okay. I've got some gold. It's all right. All right, okay. all right. It's on you this time, but let us do something, too. All right, thank you, Pan. I mean, he did knock you to, out, I'm, so... <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. She hand Let you over? this be reparations for what I did to you guys when I mean, we were he'll back never, at, he'll never admit um, it. Yeah. Suburma. <laughs> the things that you did <laughs> when you weren't quite yourself. Yep. Hey, um, I'd like to buy just a, a bottle of wine just for... A night around the campfire with my buddies. Any suggestions? Well, I mean, we just got our our common common wine. I'll take a common wine. It's two silver pieces. Thank you. I drink the mead. Yeah, I'm just all just enjoying this mead. I drink the mead. mead. It's also. very nice. Yeah. Um, excuse, uh, is she still? Is she smooth. still here? Yes. What's your name, Miss? Did you say two? Silver? Two silver. Okay. That's what the board says, okay? So just an FYI. No, I was just asking. Okay. I mean, the difference between your, your common and your fine, that's what the, I was just doing the board says. Um, she says, my name is Bellin. Hi, Bellin. Thank you for the mead. Yeah, thank this you so much. This is very fine mead. Um, I love your town, Bellin. Yeah. Gotta tell you. Swindlers. Oh, and... thank you. I like it, too. Did Can you tell me, is there a weapon shop in town? I mean, you could call it a weapon shop. He thinks he's good at creating weapons. Okay. What does he do? Anything message else? Message received. In town? <laughs> message received. Um, where... I mean, he does. He's good at making like simple knives. Can you? What else he can does sharpen he do? your sword. It seems like everyone here has two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you remind me where Hollis is located? Well, oh, his, his name is Sai. And um, he does also run oh, the apartments that are right next door. Oh, oh, <laughs> He's the landlord. Oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Um, also, you know, we like to solve problems and we like to um, solve mysteries. Do you guys have any like problems in this town? Maybe. Do you yeah, have, like, like we're super good at it. Yeah. Do you have like a wall of like dead people wandering around the town Jesus every Christ. night. We like, solved We solved an issue like that. No, we're pretty good we at solving our own Christ. problems. We okay, haven't come across good. anything okay, we haven't well, been able to solve. It's good to be self weird, like, like a wall of the undead. You know, just yeah. let us know. Yeah, if any ghosts ever show up, you know. Yeah. Think of us. Or bears. We're, we, we'll do it for you cheap. You guys got any bears? No, the woods around here, you know, they're thick but pretty tame. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, um... By the way, who's in charge here? I'm just curious. Like, is, do you like it, you guys have like a mayor or like a? No, we don't have a mayor here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're pretty much a collective. Cool. Ah, oh, that explains I mean, yeah, everything. It's all <laughs> together now. Okay. Uh, thank right. you. Thank you. So yeah. Much. Thank you. Um, You're we'll, welcome. We'll finish you've our meeting. And... You've been very kind, and I'll be sure next time I pray to ask for many blessings upon you. Ah, oh, you guys are silly, but I'll pray to my own gods. Thank you. Okay. Well, I I tip the silver piece. Well, um, oh yeah, I tip us over. Okay, so uh, good times. Let's uh, let's boogie woogie. All right. Boogie, woogie, woogie. You guys good on your meads? Yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted another, but at the same time, we'll you know, we do have to keep moving. We are on a quest. Yep. And time's running out. Um. Right. So, do you guys think that we should go take this lovely bottle of wine and go check it? Go pursue the lady hollis yeah yes. let's go talk to hollis i think that to be wise i head toward the shrine uh isn't that where she's around didn't we decide that that's where that's where dion is yeah we don't oh. wait where where did she you guys hollis don't is? actually know where hollis yeah we is. don't know where hollis is wait she's before we hey, uh bellin oh yeah real quick before i leave i'm so sorry um i have totally misplaced my address book do you know where hollis is <laughs> Well, you guys did tip me. A lot of people don't like to tip me. Why? So, um, you know, it's just not a custom around here. Oh, well, we're Tipping. hipsters. So we're from Beyond the Mist. Yeah, we got, Oh, we that got some explains money. it. I always love when people come Beyond the Mist. They just. <laughs> we're the best, aren't we? You guys really don't know how to handle your money. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Well. <sighs> Hollis doesn't really like to be disturbed. That's why yeah, we but got we're the bringing wine. Hollis. Yeah. Yeah. We got some cool wine for her. Well, you know, uh, Hollis is a couple streets over in a tavern. Tavern, you say? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it like a nice tavern, or maybe like a not so nice tavern? Yeah. Is it next to a, another tavern? Going to yeah. the dingy tavern. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is it like this tavern by chance? You know, just just go two streets <laughs> over and <sighs> do we take a left, a right, and follow then a left the again? ruckus? Follow the ruckus. All right, we do that, and then okay. she leaves. I well, throw her another another silver. She has already left. For being kind. Okay. I collect Never the mind. silver <laughs> lux through on the ground. No, I collected it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I think I I think I know where we need to go. So let's go. You guys, I saw this shitty tavern, and I know Pan has no interest in going in it, but from I mean, Bellin's reaction. Can wait, he can wait outside. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to talk to Hollis. We can give him the wine. We can give her the wine. <laughs> you guys wow. can't talk to Hollis by yourself. I mean, but. but Why? It, I mean, like, I think it's kind of a lower class tavern. I don't think you'd, I don't think you'd feel comfortable there. I don't know. Give him your cloak. No, I'm not wearing a cloak. I'll just go in and we my go to the tavern and okay. my armor looking like a badass. You are paladin. at the front of the tavern. <clears throat> okay. What's this shitty tavern called? And you hear some loud yelling. Oh. Inside? The there's a sign, but it's like all crooked and kind of smudged up and you can't actually tell what the name is. The whore's nipple. Why we gotta bring <laughs> good wine to a tavern? Uh what maybe let's hide the wine. How about that? I've already let's got it in my, it in my pack. <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, who goes in first? I'll go in. Okay. I'll, Let's all go all in right. at the same well, time I and crush that door open. I put my cloak on. As you guys start entering, like as soon as you enter, there is a couple of really big dudes oh. standing there that put up their hands and goes, "Stop! What is your business here? We're here to see Hollis. <laughs> yeah. We're here what is we your have business a, with Hollis? We have a very nice gift for Hollis. We're big fans." They pause for a second and, sit, and they say, wait here. And one of them goes into the back. Always. Right. And all of a sudden, he starts running back out the door that he went through, through which a empty bottle is being thrown and smashes against the wall. And you hear a shout, tell him I don't want to see anybody. We've mm. brought your favorite wine. And there is a pause. Do they really have wine? <laughs> we have your favorite wine, miss. Yeah, and we can go get more if you need it. Also, and we the were guards wrong with go. You? Stop I yell. Do you guys really have pop. wine? I yell. We, we were sent by Lux. what's his nuts. Show, show, and then pull out the wine. Sent by who? What's the guy's name? We like. We would like to have an audience with Dion, the Oracle of Cassanus, but we were told by Kristoff of Suburma that in order to get access to the Oracle. That we need to see Hollis first. And all of a sudden you hear, Nobody's to see my sister. Leave my sister alone. <laughs> um, well, we'd really like to talk to you, though, you know. Did they really bring wine? Yeah, we brought wine. I brought it out. Yeah. Look, here it is. Uh, and the guard goes God, back will you after fetch looking a glass? at your... The guard looks at your bottle and then goes back and then comes back out and he says, Hollis... We'll see one of you. Which one of us is the most charismatic? Should we roll <laughs> for initiative? No. <clears throat> I'll go talk to her. I say unless Pan goes. Unless one of you guys want to go talk to her. I, I, whoever's the most charismatic, I think. I be. have a zero That's charisma. That's what I think. But I could be. Zero modifier. So Pan. It's just you know, pretty average. Where the fuck are my papers? I don't know. I have my papers. But I'm pretty sure my 18 oh. charisma was higher than everybody else's. All right. Yeah, I've got I 10. guess Pan can go. Sweet. Pan, are you going? Yes, I'll need yep. that bottle of wine, though. Okay, so Pan, t Pan takes a bottle of wine, <laughs> and the one of the guardsmen is staying with the rest of you, and the other one leads you, Pan, through a back door, and then up a short staircase into a room in which you see a woman in leather armor kind of spinning sprawled out on a really worn, beaten couch. There's a desk on the other side, but, you know, it doesn't really look like it's Are there any cups? Used. There's cups everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I will grab two cups, and I will go sit next to Hollis on the couch, and then I will open the wine and pour us each a glass. Huh? She picks up one of the glasses and begins to sniff it. It came from the tavern next to the prancing centaur. Uh, we heard it was your favorite. She looks at you and then downs the entire glass. Nice. I'll pour her another glass. And she sniffs it, takes a sip at this one. 
Excellent. Then I'll set the bottle down on the table. Kristoff told us. Kristoff! That if we'd like to see Dion, we need to see Archie first. Absolutely. You know Kristoff owes me money. Does he? How much money? <laughs> he didn't Christoph owes that. everybody money. Right. Interesting thing. Classic Christoph, Christoph owes me 10 gold pieces. I'm never going to see a nothing of that. That's actually not true. We found a gold mine in Suburma that they will soon be <laughs> mining. <laughs> yeah. You think they're actually going to mine any of that over there? They don't know what to do with a gold mine. They said they got a gold mine over there. They do, where you could probably get your gold back that he owes you. By the time I get over there, somebody will have overrun them and taken all their gold anyway. A bunch of pansies over there. And uh, we need to see Dion, because she may have information <clears throat> on the robe and necklace of Harmonia that we're looking for. Okay. Aren't you... I want you to roll a d20 for charisma. 21. Yes. But you get a minus two for being noble. 19. And you don't make it. Okay. You do not. She looks at you long and hard and says, I don't like the looks of you. Well, that's fine. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people that don't. Either way, though, how would we see Dion? And she stands up, kicks over a glass that happened to be on the floor. Didn't have anything in it. Just kicks it over. Walks towards you. Puts her face real close to your face and says, what do you want with Dion? Do any of us hear the noise? No. Okay. We need to ask her guidance on where the robe and necklace of Harmonia might be. Why would you want to ask her about fictitious stories? Where's Cal? He doesn't know you said that. Because the war games aren't always going to be enough to appease Eris and Enyo. And these relics may just be what's needed to secure peace for the foreseeable future. And, and what then, profit do we have in peace? While she's talking mid-talk, I will grab her by the back of her head Whoa. and I will kiss her. Passionately? Yes. I have an Roll insatiable a desire for, for carnal strength. pleasure. <laughs> Well, that's rape. <laughs> uh, 19. Hey, if you feel a heat, you feel a heat. She struggles a little bit, but you, <laughs> you guess her. Wow. Is she into it? Hashtag me too. Roll a 20 for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 19? Am I still minus two? You're still minus two. 17. She is not into it. <laughs> then I let her go. And then she smacks you. Sweet. Pulls out a knife and slashes it towards you. So do a okay. save. Well, she's got to hit me first. But doesn't hit you. Yeah, I have an AC of 20. Yeah. <laughs> she rolled a nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And says, you. How dare I? I'm sorry. As no one as, dares to treat me like that. As close as you were to me, I, I felt it was I my best course singles. of action. She just then picks up the wine glass, downs the rest of it, puts her boot on your chest, and <laughs> leans in real Hot. close to kind of stare at you. Yes. My vagina's tingling. <laughs> How old is Hollis? Does it matter? I, I mean, is she over 18? She's like middle age. Okay. Yeah, so okay. definitely over yeah. 16. Yeah, she's she's not like old, but not young. Yeah. She's like, you know, she's middle aged. And, and she goes, certainly. Speaking okay, of tell profit, me, tell me the real reason you want to see Dion. Kind of. That's did. the real reason. We're looking for the robe and necklace of Harmonia. There's about a hundred and fifty thousand drachma prize for finding all of the relics. We have found two of them. She looks at you and she goes, one hundred and fifty thousand, huh? She takes her boot off your chest but doesn't move her face any further away. And she says, if you can show me one of these relics and prove it's a relic, I will let you speak to Dion. Did I give you the golden apple or did I keep it? I kept it, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did. I will pull out the uh, golden apple. She looks at it and she's like, you're holding an apple. This is not any apple. This is this is the golden apple of Eris. Take a bite. She goes, hand to, hand to here. Golden apple. And she discord. grabs it from you before you could actually like. I, I let her. Do anything. Yeah. She looks at it real close. Puts one hand over the apple as if she's, you know. Detecting magic. It. 
And all of a sudden, her eyes get real wide. And she actually hands it back to you. I take it. She goes. Convinced? How did you get past the druids? Hmm. It was quite easy. Actually, that's a filthy lie. It wasn't easy. <laughs> um, we met someone. I don't know if you know them or not, but she's very similar to you. Her name was Adani. <coughs> and if you knew her, you would know she would not want to be spoken of. We briefly spoke with her, but she led us to an animal path that got us into the druid's um, enclosure. We went at night, obviously, because, as you know, the shield is up during the daytime. When they sleep, the shield drops. And my monk friend, Ari, who's out there. Um, you have a monk? Yes. Who else is with you? I have a cleric with us. Her name is Lux. And we also have a halfling druid named Jelsira. How good is your cleric at healing? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty damn good. Me being a paladin myself, I am also pretty good at healing. And she leaves the room and calls down to the guards, bring the rest up. And the rest come up to you. This is how you diffuse the situation. Oh, hi. How's it going up here, Pan? Exceptionally well. Oh, good. Which one of you is a druid? That, Which one of you is a cleric? That, that would be me. I'm, the I'm sorry, the I'm cleric. The, uh, Which one of you is a cleric? I'm the cleric. That's Lux. How good of you are healing? Well, you know, today I uh, am pretty good at mass healing and some uh, light and guidance, and but I'm pretty good. What do you need? Well, I've got this. I've got this headache. It just won't go away. I've got something that could help that, but it's not healing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Pan. <laughs> I cast... Keep it in your pants, Pam. Heal headache. <laughs> it's like a thing. Uh, it's just funny because now it's your bit. <laughs> you, don't, you don't do that. <laughs> I have this headache and I can't, I can't make it stop. It hurts. How about, you know, uh, my friends here, some of them might be a little bit tired too. How about I put out a mass healing word? Uh, What'll that'll do? I'm well, just fine. all of you will get a um, hit point equal to 1d4 plus a spell casting ability. That seems like a waste of a spell. I, we're not doing like anything some today. Crazy words you're saying. I mean, if you want to try it, I'm up for anything. Anybody got anything? Well, I definitely can. Um, we just uh, is favorable right now. Ah, we just doesn't have any power here. I'm here. <laughs> you don't have any power here. Boom. Damn. You have no power here. You've been roasted. Um I I just start kind of just <clears throat> just kind of dancing around a little bit. That's just a little that's Drew dance. A terrible terrible. That's not going to help. You know what I will know help? Not help? You know what will help Hollis? Is what? our <laughs> druid friend has some potions that may assist you with the oh, headaches that you're experiencing. Right. I forgot I had that. You yeah, got some potions? Yeah, it's very... Um, we don't have an alchemist here. Well, that you're in luck then, because we found an alchemist. and he gave You're me some, in Lux. Yeah. <laughs> and he gave me some potions <laughs> that are very much helpful with cycles. You know, well, I'll Do try anything. Let me see your potions. What? Let me see your potions. I hand over my potions to you. You hand all of them to her? <laughs> The purple one. But yeah. you like hand her one? Hand her the yeah. purple one. The purple one. The purple one. one. The... the yeah, the purple one. All right. And she takes the purple one, she just downs it, <laughs> <laughs> falls back into the couch and kind of stares at you. She is tripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden you kind of you see this like face of like relief yes. on her face. Still a clouded. Um, She's still been drinking. Uh, how do you feel? Hmm? Um, no, she doesn't want your cheap ass two hey, silver hey, wine. Hey, She's an by, by the way, my she name's does. Gosira, and I'm a druid. Um, how do you feel? Well, Gosira, that's this is the best I have felt in a long, oh, long time since my stint in the war games. Where did she get that? You know, maybe she can stop um, by. So we went Pelican to the Pelican stint Town. in the war games. Pelicanville. Man, I'd love to hear about that. <laughs> Well, I was actually a champion in the oh, war games. I thought you might have been. No, what did we you, what? are the current champions of what was that town? Aspasia. Aspasia. Mm-hmm. And they're they're with the Demarcus. Yes, yeah. the former Demarcus. Well, who's totally still alive? He's got the crappiest. 
Yeah, those yeah. warriors they are. He likes to think he has his little blood sport. Yeah, that means nothing compared to what real war games are. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, it was pretty easy. I mean, when did you, you know, win? A couple of half ogres can beat any townspeople. Where any I come day. from, we call them hogers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she kind of looks over at all of you and then looks at Pan a little bit. <laughs> starting to look pretty good, isn't he? Starting to look pretty good over here, right? What yeah. uh, better? And what? she goes, uh, So why do you guys want to see Dion? The bum that owes you money told us she may be, may be able to help us find... No, a... no, no, no. I want to hear it from Wait, them. the bum owes you money? Christoph? He owes everybody money. How much money does he Chris, owe you, though? Christoph told... And is that amount worth information? He owes me 10 gold. Can you get us to die on if I just give you 10 gold to pay his debt? Well, I won't kill him if you give me 10 gold. I don't give a shit if you kill him. Well, then. Then don't give her 10 gold. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're just. Christoph told us that uh, you would get us in touch with Dion, who could possibly tell us where, where one of the artifacts were. Yeah, for Christoph is. always thinks the best of people. Does he? Um, you know what? How is, I want to be like you, I want to be a cool warrior. And yeah. I feel like if we You're were a little short to be a cool warrior, right? Well, yeah. you know People what? Are so I mean, prejudice I, here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it, but you know, I've got some, I've got some cool abilities. Um, yeah, what can you do? So, what do you guys want with Dion? Well, Dion, we need information yeah. on how to find the robe. Yeah, because if we can find the robe, then why are you guys going after? Fictitious things. Because somebody offered us a lot of money yeah. to go and after fictitious things, and we already have two having a lot of out of the three it. fictitious things. Sixty-six percent ain't bad. <laughs> if sixty-six, do you know about all three of them? I mean, everybody knows the jurors got that stupid apple. They always talk about. They don't have it anymore. Head. Yeah. Hollis. So I, this, this, and I mean the drachma. I mean, yeah, he's got his stupid little pit of whatever. You know. Everybody knows he's got Wait, the the Demarcus. Do you mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did I say? Drachma. The drachma. drachma. <laughs> the Demarcus. Obviously, Hollis is hammered. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, uh, the Demarcus Hollis. is garbage. We agree, but like, well, the Demarcus had. Yeah. I mean, he probably, yeah, pig. it's probably a fake. Would you like to see it? Do you want to? Pull Don't out you the have the sickle sword? Of or, the yeah, the sickle. Is yeah. Would you like badass. to see it to see if it's fake? <laughs> You actually had a sickle. Oh my! Yeah, show me the sickle of Kronos. I mean, show it to me. It is pretty BA. Okay, I, I hand it over, ah. and she holds it for a second, and all of a sudden, it starts glowing silver. Okay, that is the first time we've ever seen that do that. Hmm. I wonder she if goes, that does that because you're a champion. Yeah, you're pretty cool. And she actually starts. She actually swings it around a couple times. So everybody, fun. roll a dexterity check. Oh God! Nat twenty. Nineteen. Whew. Oh. Ten. That's a twenty-one. Critical fail. Oh no! Uh -oh. Lux is rolling a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Nat twenty. That. And All I have right. Zero well, Lux, what'd you roll? Deck. Well, I rolled a one, oh. but with dexterity. All right. What's your armor class? Seventeen. Thank God. Okay. So actually, I I got a two. Hey, it hits you. But it only shaves like a couple of hairs off the top of your head. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You're going to get a new hat that's going to cover that up for you just fine. You're just going to wear it here. I just now. matrix it. Like, <laughs> no, not with a one you don't. You don't matrix anything. She missed your AC. Yeah. You so stand she hit there. you. I just. And I just no, pissed myself. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> right? Pretty cool, right? And she, she hands it back to you. Thank you. Is it still going silver? No. You know, when she hands it back, it's no longer going so That's yeah, a dog. Yeah, I heard that too. I think it was... I think Do it was you awful. still fight at all? She goes, I fight all the time. Mm. I bet you win all the fights too. I put the sickle back away. Huh? She goes, where'd you put the sickle? Where'd it come from? His bag. Yeah, I have a bag. Hey. Why is a bag like that? I hey, do. Hollis, look here. I, I have some really shitty wine. Do you want a cup? I kind of feel in a cup. I mean, there's cups sitting around. I mean, you if I hand you one, will you have one? Okay. So you hand her a cup and she smells and she's like, Ugh, it smells like crap. Yeah. But you're going to drink it, right? And then right? she downs it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
what she does. Um, so what do you, do you think you could help us find Hollis? I mean, Dion. So she looks around at all of you and says, I don't trust people who don't drink. Oh. I pour a cup for everyone else. <laughs> I'm a half queen. Like, all I do is drink. Guys, cheers to the adventure. Cheers to Hollis. Yeah, no, I'm not drinking your shitty wine. I'm going to have another glass of this wine we got for and Hollis. She and walks, she walks out the door and she says, follow me. Oh. And you walk back downstairs into the tavern. And she actually walks behind the, bu- the bar there. Pulls out she some goes cups, to the back. pulls out some drinks. You you don't quite recognize it. Pours it all for you and hands you all a cup. Uh, thank you. Why do I suspect we're getting roofied? <laughs> uh, I don't even care. I just I mean, drink it. I wait. Yeah, what's uh, what's uh, Jelly's reaction to the drink? <laughs> it's pretty strong. Whoa. Jelly is not drunk. We just got the halfling <laughs> hammered. You now must <laughs> act drunk. <laughs> I, um, I say so. I just kind of start dancing around. <laughs> I see this and I go ahead and down mine. <laughs> I so yeah. I'm a giant third, dragon. Third you're that. much bigger, and so you know you kind of get hey, a little tingly hey guys, effect. Oh, Did I ever tell nice. you how much I love all of you? Okay. We love and you too, how, how much this adventure means to me? And it's how, pretty great. You know, like it's been kind of a rough life for me, and you guys are so Hollis. great. All right, now you know that we drink and that we're cool, right? I'll tell you after another round, and pours you all, all another. Right. Is it on you? I mean, she's the one pouring it, yeah. All right. I Hell down, yeah, I round it, it up. <laughs> and down it. Down it. And she goes, down Nah, it. you guys are all right. I yeah, we're all right, all right. Not like the we're all people right, of all this right. town. <laughs> Too goody-goody for their own goody-goody. Hey, I Too love Too goody-goody you. for their own goody-goody. Oh, but, you're so cool. Yeah. My sister can't see anybody today. Oh, who's your sister? Not today. Maybe Not tomorrow. Today. Well, we're actually here tomorrow? for at least a whole other day. She should be available tomorrow. Where can tomorrow? we find her? Oh, good. So you all need to stay. Can we I, stay I just here? Missed. Yeah. Do you have a, is there, does this tavern have a beds pan? Would love it. Um, there, There's a common room. Oh my God! Perfect. For the rest of you, perfect. Rest of oh, okay. So you guys, she looks at Pan. <laughs> if you just have like a dusty, I got mop, a cot for you. He'd love to yes. sleep on it. Hey Pan, and um, then I wink at her and I smile and I down this drink. <laughs> and then she slaps you and says, "Don't be so pretentious." Okay. Hey Pan, I have this cool lantern. Um, I think it might be magic. Can you just cast a tech magic on this lantern? What? <laughs> <laughs> I love drunk cow jelly. <laughs> She's like, oh, I have this right I love that you almost called her drunk Kelly. <laughs> jelly, jelly. When she's drunk, I got she's you. I'll, I'll cast detect magic on the but, lamp. I mean, but Pan can do, you do have it. Magic? The monk can do it too. Yeah, I'll do oh. it. I've but, seen him but, do it. Yeah. I'm just so used yeah, to Yeah, but I don't, I don't think spells, that he ever but, detected I mean, magic. Do you actually magic. have detect magic? I don't she's think drunk. It. <laughs> she's drunk. We're, we're right, playing right. with her right now. <laughs> That's why I said, no, oh. he can do it. She's yes. drunk. She's not going to oh. know any better. What are you oh. feeling? It's Ari. magic. You Aren't know, it real? Yeah. is it really magic? It's a magic lamp. Oh, it's a Here, don't oh, give right. it to me. Let me verify. I because you, I also have. I bet detect if you magic. turn it on, oh. there will like be a light. Okay. Cosmic awareness, which is bullshit. <laughs> Pan, is it magic? It's the best. Oh yeah, he's right. That's absolutely magic. Wow, what kind of magic does it do? <laughs> I d- I don't know. I can just detect that it's magical. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Thanks, thanks, guys. <sighs> Oof, it's a uh, erectile dysfunction magic. <laughs> I'm going to pray over it. You found a potion for that. Not be helpful, I think. This I think Hollis just downed it. Lantern is so magical. Down the lantern? <laughs> if no, you use it potion. in the darkest of places, it will illuminate <laughs> in a 30 foot sphere around you. Wow. Well, wow. I better go find a dark spot somewhere to use it. <laughs> it is mm. the lantern. I I'm glowing. I actually wow. kind of am. A, I'm glowing. feeling a little, a little, a little drunk, <laughs> and I kind of, you know, want to give a little winky eye to Hollis. Hollis, <laughs> I don't Ari, 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 come here, come here. I'm going to take out the apple, and I'm going to say, "Put this in your pack." Got it. <laughs> I pack it. Huh? And. Two guards come over and oh, escort Gelsira and Ari, and they say, um, they show them this 
set of stairs is off to the side. They said the common room's upstairs. Oh, are you guys guards? Is it if you want to go put now? your stuff down. How do you no, get... it's still like early afternoon. I'm just oh, curious. Okay. How did you guys become guards? Do you like being guards? <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of look at her like, it's our job. I mean, but do you really it's enjoy what we it? Do. do you find meaning in your work? <laughs> you can go put your stuff down next to a pallet. Do you have a place to sleep for my friend here where she can just chill for like two hours? I mean, I'm not tired. And then Hollis takes her arms and puts one through Pan's arm and puts one through Lux's arm and starts escorting them up and back into her office. Oh. Oh. Hot dog. Fuck yeah. Oh my God. We're about to Eiffel Tower this bitch. (laughs) (laughs) We're about to become Eskimo siblings. I know. I think we might already be that. <laughs> right, I go, I go up and put my stuff down, but not the bag. I keep that inside okay. my cloak. Which I bring my best. shitty wine and tell Pan to grab the good wine that was that, stuff that right. Hollis but, may so have you, left. You guys on the bar. are up with Hollis drinking and doing stuff, whatever Fucking. you decide. Fucking, we want you to fuck. Want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have an insatiable desire for carnal pleasure. And you're doing that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, Gil, yes. Sire, and Ari, what are you guys doing? I mean, the guards took me away somewhere. I don't know. I, knew, I mean, you're I just, you're just up and like, in and so you guys like put your stuff down. There's just a ro- it's just a big room with pallets oh. on the floor. Ari, where you did, put your um, stuff down next to pallets, but they, the guards leave. You're free to like Where did Pan and Lux go? We should I, go find them. I don't think we should find what them. What if they're I think in danger? That, no, they're having fun. Oh. We, let's go have a drink at the shitty bar the down sh- t- downstairs. I mean, like, maybe we should go check on our friends. No, they're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's you not know. an orgy. It's a threesome. Yeah. I, are you are you positive? Yeah, I think they're is totally your, fine. Is that what your detect friend spell is yes. telling you? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I, I trust you then. Okay. Detect friend spell? <laughs> detect let's, just, friend let's just go down spell. and maybe chat up these guards and okay. see if they know anything. Uh, or... Yeah. I'm curious to know about these guards and their life stories. You yeah. Know? Like, let's find out what their deal is. Yeah. So you go downstairs and there's nobody down there. <laughs> is there the bar still? Nope. What do you mean the um, bar is gone? It's afternoon. I mean, the bar is still there, but there's nobody at the bar. Oh, oh hey, bar. Mean? Yeah, it's afternoon. So lunch is over. It's it's right. the mid afternoon. Are there bowl. any? Are there it's any like three, leftover? Yeah. Are there any leftover drinks from when we were just down here drinking? No. Is there you, anybody in the? Anybody in here at all? Nope. Uh, I just right, kind of well, yell back, "Hey guys, any bartenders? Anybody? Nobody comes out. All right, I grab a glass um, and go get myself some water. I was about to say, just like start drinking. Yeah, for and free. a beer. Um, I I, I start too. I start to go outside. What? I throw I throw like a five silvers on the counter and g- g- have a beer. I just kind of start. Two. I just kind of start dancing around a little bit. You're not going outside then. No, You're I go outside. Gonna go outside and explore. Some I more, go outside. Maybe. Yeah, I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside the bar. All right. You're outside. You've got your little fountain to the left. I just start dancing around the fountain. Apartments to the right. La, la, yeah. la, Where's la, the weapon la, shop? La. Um, <laughs> it's back towards the beginning of town. Is there a role I can make for beat the brakes off of this shit for Hollis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's a beat the brakes mean? <laughs> Fucking make that bitch submit. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. Okay. She's pretty dominant in the whole thing. Oh, I'm all but, right. That's perfectly. Yeah, right it, I, in my head, she's got one foot on my chest and one foot on Ari's. <laughs> pretty much. Or, I mean, on Pan. Definitely not Ari's. Pan. <laughs> yeah, no, Ari is not involved in yeah, this. No, get away. I'm gonna yeah. down my beer and go back out into the street and like look for the weapon shop. Okay, so you. Go back to the intersection, turn left, start walking by. As you go walk by the main intersection, you see some stalls on the left, some stalls on the left, (laughs) and you pass the jewelers and the good shop. And I give the jewelers shop a stink eye as Um, I pass. I'm 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 following Ari. I'm just kind of skipping around the town. Um, and you actually come to the end of the street, and on the right is the is a little small shop with a sign of a shield with a sword over it. Ooh, Ari, can we go in the shop? Yeah, please? let's go in the okay, shop. Okay, yeah, we go in the shop. Hello, hi, and a very tall, skinny man hmm. comes out. Wow, you're like really tall. What can I do for you? Um, And he kind of looks down at (laughs) Galsira like, what? Well, we've got a lot of money. And um, 
we've been money. We don't say. we don't have a lot of money. We've been hanging out with Hollis. I feel like two. So gold. we're a bit we're a bit buzzed. Hollis sent you. No, she didn't send us. I mean, oh, we were oh we were God, just there. Did she throw you out? She no, throws most her, people just, out. She's like so cool. She's she gave us some, amazing. She gave us some. But alcohol. Hollis didn't send you. No, no, we're just no. here on our own. Our friends are. Yeah, they're. We I kind of split up for a moment. I think they're indisposed. Get, they're they're yeah. fresh with her. It's what's happening. Uh, okay. Um, so, ah, um, Hollis but, took your friends to the back room. We heard. Um, we yeah, heard that you. I don't know what you, they're doing though. We heard that That's you. What she does. We heard that you have a weapon shop. Yeah. And, you know, we'd uh, like to see your wares. Oh, I've got the finest weapons in we've all heard, of Enyo. We've heard so many great things about Enyo. you too. Eris. You mean Eris? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We've heard a lot of cool the things. Finest about weapons you. in all of Eris, and you see him stagger a little bit. Um, Are they hung up for to see? There's some like knives out. There's like an axe, but the axe looks like it wouldn't cut anything. Okay, hey okay. buddy. Um, 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 and then everybody, ro- you guys roll for perception. Uh, Nineteen. Nope. Is that 20. with your modifier? 20. Yeah. Twenty with modifier. You see a couple of hand yeah, axes and a javelin. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, buddy, I, I do you also sharpen weapons? Is that a service you perform? I do. I have a wedding stone out back, big enough what stone? to... Yes. <laughs> it just got married. <laughs> it just got married to the anvil. <laughs> They're a happy couple. How much, how much do you charge? I've got a short sword that, you know, could use a sharpening. What are your prices? Uh, it'll be four silver pieces. Well, I could swing that. How? When can you have it done? I'm going to be done by the end of the day. Okay, well, I'll give him my short sword and ask him to sharpen it up for me. Why not? Anything I can do for you, little um, miss? Oh, hey, big sir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys? Do you have any like arrows? Maybe. Um, we do. We do sell arrows. How many you got? They would be. They've got rubber tips. Well, we've got we've got <laughs> quite a few. Uh, can I buy a quiver, please? There we go. Arrows. One gold piece for twenty arrows. Um okay. Oh, I'd like to buy I would pay money I'd like to, to buy a quiver of arrows. You're kissing please. somebody else right now, Pan. Hollis. Yeah, I knew she liked it. Can I buy I twenty arrows, please? Too. You can. For a GP. That was called Twenty four, Arrows. What you and uh Hollis did was foreplay. Yes, it was. And I'm five play. <laughs> uh thank you for your Thank you for running. Such I knew she took me up on my offer for the other cure for shop. a headache. I knew she would. I don't know. She <laughs> bought arrows. <laughs> she bought arrows. At least she didn't buy like 15 packs. Ari. No, I'm good. I gave him my short sword to sharp sh- 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 sharp 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 what do we see forward and right? Also, how uh, long forward have Forward is back Pan towards the shops you've already been past. And then to the right, to um, the right you know, the road the right. goes that way. <laughs> 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 Want to head to the right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's go somewhere we've never been before. Right. Let's adventure. Yeah. So you guys pass right. a set of what looks to be like just apartments. Hmm. Okay. But as you pass them, there's just kind of like, not dense woods, just lightly wooded areas on either side of the path. Ooh, I love on, on the road. I love woods. It's more of a road. Okay. You guys walk a little bit, about uh, 15, 20 minutes. You just keep to new walking. Wow. Do, 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 a little do, romantic do, 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 do. stroll. Okay. okay. But then um, the road comes to an end to some thicker trees. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then, but kind of curves to the right a little bit. And then there. Is excuse me, and then there is a big lodge with a giant water wheel attached to one side going Whoa. through the river. Hey, I let's go inside this. this place. Let's see what's going Man, on. Let's inside. check it out. Yeah. Okay, so we go yeah, into the lodge. Okay. Yeah, what is it? So you go into the lodge and you see in the middle. It's a kind of a very spacious, like almost cavernous area. Okay. Um, there's a couple of doors to the left. Hmm. Um, as if to go out to be able to service the water wheel. And there is a mill in the middle of the room, or like a grind, a giant grindstone in the middle of the room. Sure. And you hear lots of whooshing of water as if above you. Go ahead and roll for perception. Both of us? Yes. Oh. 
Ten. Never mind. I rolled a one. Six. You see everything. <laughs> I see it all. Um, and you see in the very back, in the shadowy corner, is a set of stairs. Hey, let's go up the stairs. Let's do it. Okay, we go up the stairs. We go up the stairs. Yeah. As you guys start walking, a man comes in from the doors from the left and says, "Hey, what can I do for you guys?" Hi. Uh, Hi. We just we we're just in wandered adventure. in. We were looking for we we're looking for somebody that you know. What is this place? No, oh, it's the it's the water wheel. Everybody knows this place. Matt, what from, anime man. is this from? Um, what's the name <laughs> of the river that the oh, water wheel works dream. with? This is a water wheel. This is the this is what this place is. Yeah. Cool. I mean, we're not from here. Yeah. We just we're travelers. We're yeah. Visitors. We're just passing through. And um, this my is the Potami River. My name's Gosira, by the way. Potami. Hi, Gosira. And I'm Ari. Yeah. My name is Alec. Hi, Alec. Um, so tell me about your life. What do you do on a daily basis? Do you know, not many people ask people to tell them their life at first meeting. Well, <laughs> I'm on a quest, and I'm just trying to get a lot of information. Quest, you say? Yeah. Making a lot of money doing that, are you? Uh, not yet. I mean, trying to, but. That's the that's the goal. We're, we're surviving. Yeah. I've met a lot of questers in my time. Hey, do you call them questers? I also love it. met a lot of poor people in my time. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're usually one and the same. Um, do you know anything about the robe and necklace of uh, Harmonia? The robe and necklace of what? Harmonia. Of Harmonia? Oh, I think you mean the robe and necklace of Harmonia. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I think also what, what you I meant said. to say <laughs> was the robe and necklace of Harmonia. Yes. Oh. I don't know about any robe or necklace. We don't. We don't deal with any of that kind of stuff. You might have to talk to the jeweler <laughs> about that. Talk to the jeweler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's, well, the, just, that's exactly right. That was just a question. Do you have um, necklaces? We don't do that shit here. Go talk to the jeweler. Do you have? Do you have? Is there like a, a building adjacent to this that you also work in and pretend <laughs> to be a different person? <laughs> No, oh. I only work here. Um, Is that we're we're pretty far removed from the town now, aren't we? Twenty minutes. Yeah, removed. we just kind of wandered off. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, kind of out of the town now. What's what's the water wheel do? Also, hey, I appreciate that you guys gave us our space to get our thing on. Yeah, you're welcome. What's the water Thank wheel you. do? Yeah, Daphne tried to get in the way of that again. Yeah, I know, she wanted to join. Like, Cock bitch, not every there. orgy <laughs> needs a Daphne. Um, okay, well, you guys can't talk to them because you're not together right now. Um, so, it's telepathic. Um, what's, what are things like here on a daily basis? Like, what's your typical day look like? Oh, you know, people... Bring their grain and we grind it. People bring their grain and we grind it. What else? People green. Uh, bring people their grain. also bring their grain and we grind <laughs> it. We grind it. We grind it. Yeah. I um, mean, <laughs> we use water for power. Don't what's, worry about where our water goes. Yeah. What's hmm. what's? Wait. What? Where does the water go? Yeah. Tell Why us would more, you please. say that? And what? You don't going... live here. You don't need to know that. We're well, about to rent some apartments. You know, maybe we want to settle down here. Yeah, you know? what if we do live here now? Oh, then your landlord will tell you. They're <laughs> a very handsome gay couple. So I mean, the landlord knows what the water does. What? So, <laughs> uh, I don't know if we told you or not, but we're on a quest. Yeah, you're Yeah, questers. robe and necklace, and, and you need to go talk to the <laughs> <jeweler. laughs> Uh So where does the river go to? Oh, where it goes, everybody knows where it goes. Goes to the sea. So where does the where's your water go that from this water wheel to the sea? No, but I mean, like, what would the landlord tell us if we moved in? <laughs> you don't need to know unless you move in. There's no water at all. You pay for everything. What? Um, is there anything we could buy from you? You know, it's a water wheel. It grinds things and brings water to the town. What can we buy from you? You could. Do you have some grain to grind? <laughs> I have an axe to grind. Um, <laughs> you should go talk to the weapon shop. <laughs> and a bone to pick. I'm kind, um, of, I'm kind of bored. Do you need help? So we just kind of wandered in here, and it's not an important place at all. <laughs> I want you to both roll a d20. Wander back. 12. Uh, 16. I rolled a one again. Critical. Uh, <sighs> you guys hear some rustling from up the stairs. Hmm, what's going on up there? Like footsteps. Hey, who else is here? He looks about the. I think you both need to leave now. Hey, let's go. Hardy, right, let's go upstairs. Maybe we should just barge I, in. Why I go, not? You're drunk. Yeah, inhibitions are low. I go upstairs. Yeah. I follow. 
Um, he stops you before you can go upstairs. I, I push want him you down. to both roll for strength. <laughs> I push him down. <laughs> oh, God. Four. Nine. Nine. He knocks Gelsira over. Um, but Ari gets past him. I just go upstairs. Goes up the stairs. <laughs> You're on your own, drunky. <laughs> you and go up the stairs. Jelly just passes out. And you see just a wide room. It's just one room. Cool. Okay. On the cool far room, end is just like a bed, just like a pallet, um, but with lots of cushions, lots of blankets, oh, but beautiful. not like a full on bed. I take um, a nap. There is a wardrobe kind of behind it. There's a desk on the right side of the room. Um, but that's it. Otherwise, it's pretty. Uh, there is a mirror on the left side of the room next to a window. To the wall. I go and look out the window real quick because there's no one else in the room. Roll a d20 for perception. Even though I heard footsteps and, and stuff. Nine. You don't notice anybody in the room. Okay. Well, then I go to the window and look out to see if maybe somebody okay. just climbed out the window. And you just a see a bunch of trees. No, you don't see anybody. Okay. Definitely heard footsteps up here. I say detect magic. <laughs> um, I lo- doesn't have. <laughs> I know. If only someone had detect- a lamp of glowing so they could see in the dark. <laughs> he, 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 he cast. I look detect around. Footsteps. It's not dark. <laughs> De- Ari cast detect footsteps. Ow! I cast Sorry, I just detect. So I know. I, just I cast detect excited. footsteps. <laughs> Um, it's not a thing. <laughs> so I look around. What else is in there? Is there anything not normal? Last time in the room? we did this, there was like a uh, trap door in the ground. Go, Syra, where? Oh yeah, you're still. You got, got knocked I got over downstairs. Down, yeah. I searched for I'm a trap door or any other kind I'm of roll of twenty attic or something. Eight. What am I rolling for? <laughs> the number perception. Eleven. As you're you're searching around the floor, you bump towards the pallet, and I'll see here like a little squeak, like oh. I uh, check to see what the heck that was. Roll d twenty, your reception. Why would they put cream and mushroom soup in a cheesy cake? <laughs> Why are you watching? Why are you playing? God, I hate that. I'm not playing anything. We're 12. fucking <clears throat> twelve. I'm watching them make cheesy queso burger dip. It looks amazing. <laughs> Same thing is fucking. Okay, so when he comes out and you're all like, what'd you guys do? He's going to be like, we make cheesy bacon queso dip. And if he says anything different, fucking lightning's going to hit him. And we fucked. No, you made cheesy bacon queso That's dip. That's literally cheesy the exact bacon. same So I check out That's what? Euphemism? Literally the exact same thing. You I made bro. cheesy I check, bacon queso dip. I check out what's going on under the palate. Okay, and you pull back some covers, and you see kind of a, a mid twenties looking girl laying there. That's a big palace. Hi, what's what's your deal? Are you in trouble? <laughs> Is she clothed? Are you here willingly? Yes, she's clothed. Fucking clothed. God. Are you here willingly? I'm horny. Well, you're you're getting that taken care of. God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fucking God. Can you take Sorry, care of? God. Roll for charisma. Oh well. Train your dice. You're not that good with women. Seven. <laughs> Is that with your charisma modifier? Yeah, it's zero. <laughs> she scoots back against the wall and doesn't say anything. Am I still knocked out? Um, you've gotten back up now. Okay, I, I go to run up the stairs. Uh roll a D twenty. Who are you? To get past the guard or past the guy. Uh what's my modifier? Strength. Uh nineteen. Or no, I'm sorry, eighteen. You get knocked back again. What? No way. Yeah. Oh my I rolled a 20. Wow. That's not you. <sighs> what do you want? I'm sorry. Miss, really. are you in trouble? I can't believe that you only have a strength modifier. Her one. eyes are really wide and just stares at you and doesn't say anything. What is wrong? <laughs> Why are you up here? You're freaking dragonborn. I mean, like, what are you... <laughs> I cast friends. All of a sudden, this what, dragon thing just comes up under her room. Wrong. And then all of a sudden, she poops. Blings she poops. her hands out in front of her, closes her eyes, and says, You are in great peril. What you think is true is not. Diane, is that you? <laughs> and she lays back on her cot. Are you Diane? She doesn't respond. I poke her. <laughs> 
Why are you poking her? Because she's not answering me. Is she dead? I want to find out. And she pulls I'm the covers over her head. Prepping her. <laughs> All right. Um, prepping her, dude. I s- cut her head off. <laughs> I hope that was a joke. <laughs> Put it so in my bag of holding. Off. And game over. <laughs> like, <laughs> like um, hey, are, are you are you not Dion? That sounded like a prophecy. You might be an oracle. We're looking for Dion. We're going to talk. Was, uh, <laughs> what are you doing in this water wheel place? Why are you here? Can't you live in like a normal place? She continues cowering. Um, I mean you no harm. I'm Delsire, what are you doing? Friendly. I'm trying to I try to get back up again. Hey, roll these twenty. I do a dance. It's in my strength modifier. Yeah. The dance of my people. God, it feels so helpless. Not What'd really. you roll? I rolled a, I mean my is seven. Ah! I birds. know. Birds aren't real. <laughs> you get hit back again, and now you've lost one hit point. Government drones. I step back and kind of sit down cross-legged, and I'm like, look, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm completely, we just want to talk to you if you're Diane. She doesn't respond to you. We're looking for the robe and necklace of Harmonia. Okay. It, can I do something? I mean, you can, yeah. I want to turn into. Don't turn into a bear. <laughs> not, not, not a bear. I'm going to turn into a, a cat. Moth. A cat. Have you seen a cat? I mean, in my lifetime. You have seen a tree imp, like a baby tree imp. <sighs> you've well, I'm seen, trying to think of like a non-threatening animal. You've yeah, seen an owl. Like, you've turned into a rat. You've seen a bear. You've seen an elk. You've also seen a tiny little tree imp. Um, that's not an animal. That's not, yeah, it's got to be an animal. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some non-threatening animal I can turn into. Will it twenty for me? If only you could turn into an owl and just fly over the guy. Well, I'm not that challenge rating yet. An I owl? Can't, I can't fly yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god! What's my modifier? Does it matter? <sighs> Intelligent. Five. Okay. Yikes. Well, lucky for you, I rolled a one. Wow. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Luck for old dad. And you turn into a cat. Might you call it Lux? Okay. But it looked kind of weird. Like, no. you don't have any whiskers. Stop trying to make that happen. It's never going to happen, Jenna. Um, and, like, your tail is kind of like a stubby Your guys tail. is, it's well, weird. I want to go upstairs and see what's going on up there. Okay. Podcast should be called Might You Call It. <laughs> Might You Call It? That's weird. <laughs> okay. So, up you make it up the stairs. Well, you, you make it up the stairs. Okay. okay. Um, and You're up I, the stairs. And then I turn back into Gelsira. Okay, so you've used that one time. Yep, I so I have another yeah. one for the day. Um, and what do you do? Uh, I want to go talk uh, to the person Ari's talking to and see what's going on. And be like, "Hi, my name's Gilsira. What's your name?" And she looks at you. Go ahead and roll for charisma. Roll well. <laughs> and she says, "The dragon's in grave danger. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is not what it seems." Sixteen. Okay. She looks at you and says. Hi, my name is Dion. Oh, hi, De- hi, Dion. Um, it's so great to meet you. We've heard so many amazing things about you. I just step back, let Jelly do the talking. Be completely <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh my god. I-, I-, I hope you're having a good, good day. Job. I hope you're having a good day. Um, how is your day going? I mean. My day is like every other day. Oh, this is a, people bring the gray. This is a pretty cool. We grind it. Yeah, this is a pretty cool house. You know, it must be pretty great to live in a you know next to a water wheel and get to see the river and the wheel and the mill turning okay. around. At the and all water. of a sudden, her hands go up and her eyes close, and she says, "You're in great danger. Things are not what they seem." Oh, um, and she lies back. Can you elaborate, please? Can you be a little bit more specific? She says, those that you trust are not trustworthy. Well, I mean, I trust a lot of people. Can you, <laughs> can you let me know who specifically? They are not in this room. Okay, so I can trust Ari then, right? So... It's like, okay. Oh, it's from my... It's, ah, it well, how do I... Well, um... What are you trying to, what are you trying to do? So she just told me that... She just told me that I can't trust people... But that they're not in this room. So I do feel like I can trust you. Yeah. I feel fine. like Kristoff is the problem. And then she looks at you and she says, you will be betrayed. 
Well, that doesn't sound very good. She seems like kind of a crazy person. I think we should probably just go. <laughs> no, and then, I mean, she's not crazy. What's how, happening is that because she's an oracle, she's very sensitive and she gets a lot of... Okay. We talked to you know, we talk to her sister. I say that loud enough for her here. Mm-hmm. Um, and and we'll we'll get to talk to her under better circumstances, I think. So I don't know. I think this this and she looks at both of go. you and all she goes, you come here with a question. Yeah. And yeah. I know the answer. Uh, I asked it. Okay, so our question is, um, we're on a quest and we're trying to find the rope and necklace of Harmonia. Do you have any guidance for us? We would really appreciate it. It is too far to get there on foot. How would you suggest we uh, get there? Land or sea, Teleport. air, helicopter? It is across the sea. Sea, okay. Uh, which direction? Can you- Sail. It is north. West. God damn it. <sighs> yes, it is. God damn it. Why you say that? Isn't that where we started? No. Ethereum's northwest. Okay. Um. God damn you, Deborah. I'm glad I looked up those villages in that Dragon Ball game. We just cave. damn you, Deborah. Uh, <laughs> we just well, Thank Christ. you so much for this information. Um, Could you please... Do you think you could maybe be a little bit more specific about who we can't trust? Like, who we should be careful of? Or rather, who has the robe and necklace over the sea? As Ari talks, she then pulls the the covers back over her head. Oh, Oh, Jesus Christ. We need to be very... You know, she's she's always sensitive. We need to be delicate with this. We can trust Um, our party members. um, I know who it is. Hey, Dion, I know you're having... You know, I'm pretty sure you're pretty tired, but do you think you could talk to us a little bit more... I just hear a whimper from under the covers. Hmm. Um, Maybe that's where we should wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably just yeah. leave. Let's sneak yeah. out the window. Do you have um, treats? No, I used it all. No. Um, all right. Well, I think that's about as much information as we can get for now. I think we should probably just try to, you know, give her some space, you know. Okay. On the way out, I, I say, hey, Dion, do you know what an emerald is worth? <laughs> She doesn't answer. If you could use your magic oracle powers to divine that. She I think we should answer. probably see what, see, make sure that Pan and Alux are okay. And then maybe oh, we should we're come, all right. Maybe oh, we, don't you worry about maybe us. Maybe we should come back here. You know? So all right, Bang. we're oh, all wrong. I mean, we're going to come back tomorrow because Hollis is going to introduce we're us to right, Dion. Oh, that's left. true. And then at that point, it'll be like a formal introduction. Maybe just, We probably will let Lux us. and, and um, uh, Pan do the talking. Oh, then. we're yeah. sleeping here tonight. <laughs> Okay. I don't well, know about sleeping. Right. You don't have to, well, and I'm feeling pretty refreshed. Here. Okay, well, let's let's go here. let's go check on them and make sure they're okay. I don't okay. need okay. to sleep. Pam. All right, I so, sneak out the window so though because know. we knocked out a After dude. After that on the way much down. alcohol, you probably should. No, that, yeah, at, at that point. Yeah, we're upstairs. Fuck We've been it. gone for at least twenty minutes. Yeah, and probably drinking. All right, so <clears throat> we head back. Um, we get back to the tavern. Kay. We're tag. We're taking. We're tagging out. Switch. <laughs> do we do we see um, Switch Lux and uh, Pan? Or are they still the doing open? No, I mean we're we're taking breaks to hydrate. <coughs> okay, I sit Got at it. the bar. Okay, you're at the bar. I, Somebody I, comes I, and brings you a. I, I come down mead, to a get a mead. water break. Uh, I pass a mug out. of ale. I pass out. I sell <laughs> a- sell ale. Oh, here. I have some ale then. And, I uh, come down to get a water break. Hey, buddy, how? What you? No, guys you don't doing? leave. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you're not. Never mind. You left. I don't go yeah. a so we'll, single place. We'll share that information <laughs> later, but uh, I think that's probably going to be where we end it tonight. Bam, bam, bam. That's all for someone. Yeah, someone thanks for, play. Thanks for listening, oh. everybody. Oh. <laughs> for listening I love play. that you said that's <laughs> I all that someone. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, shout out to Some Would Say podcast, our <gasps> you know sister sister podcast. podcast yeah. Yeah. So it's a uh, you know. This is like PG-13. That's like rated probably NSFW. No, this is now officially R. I was about to say, I don't yeah. think we've been PG-13 for a we while. Just we we, we attempted at the beginning. And yeah, I tried. I really did. You did. I give you kudos and I'm still for trying. trying. I did so, try for a little bit. Do I get more XP then maybe? Well, you'll Bye. find out next time. <laughs> you'll, we'll all find out next time <laughs> on Some, Some Would Play. play. Bow, bow, bow. Nope, still not that. Oh, so, so. Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. 
Find us online at www.somewoodplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Somewoodplay. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Jenna is at Jenna Toll. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it. <laughs>